Places across the island have been affected by an increasing um, epidemic of people who are obstructing our sidewalks. The um, epidemic of people who are obstructing our sidewalks. My name is Catherine Gian. I'm the executive director of the Pacific Alliance to Stop Slavery, and I'm in strong um, opposition to Bill 59. My name is uh, H. Doug Matsuk. I strongly oppose Bill 59 in all its forms. I speak in solidarity with the House list. Can you identify yourself, please? Uh, my name is Derek Nathaniel James Warren, student of Hawaiian Studies at UH Manoa. Um, I know that somewhere along your genealogy, someone depended on the law of the Splinter Panel. By supporting Bill 59, are you ashamed of your history? Would you criminalize those in your family who are or were houseless? Michael Daly, um, um, Chair, I'm uh, representing myself. I'm a resident of Waikiki. Um, I'm very concerned that the, the mere mention of free speech and expressive rights has been taken out of this bill and needs to be placed in there somehow, somewhere. Uh, apart from that, I'm opposed to the bill um, in toto anyway, but, um, you know. My name is Michael Tyler, and I am opposed to Bill 59. I know you angry however I want you to understand that the people who are hopeless they need help. Um, we stand strongly opposed to Bill 59 CD1 for a number of reasons. We feel that the rewrite in many ways uh, is even worse than the original. Christopher Nova Smith with the Occupy Honolulu. One question I do have is historically we've been seeing some of these bills that come out and it is indeed criminalizing the homeless. Today we're faced with a challenge of a state representative that's now running around with a sledgehammer in his hand attacking the homeless. Stanley Chain, I would like to know from you what are you doing about this situation? Uh, my name is Ashish Hemrajani. I'm a graduate student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Um, I've been researching homelessness since 2009, um, in that, both inside shelters and on the streets. In that time, I've got to know a lot of homeless individuals. Um, and I was worried about the bill. I, I, I'd like to recommend that you oppose the bill. Thank you, council members. Um, I'm opposed to the bill. Um, I, um, myself, I have experience in the past being out on the street. My prediction, though, is that the bill will sail past and it will be approved because I don't think this council, with all due respect, I don't think this council, uh, based on the previous uh, passing of Bill 54 and Bill 7, is concerned with all their constituents. They're certainly not concerned with the people that are poor and the homeless, they're more concerned about the profits of, the, of, your, of your sponsors. And uh, as proof of that, I think this will pass without a problem. Now, that concludes my testimony. You know, at the last meeting, I did indicate that I had concerns, and I wasn't sure um, how I would vote today until I read the morning newspaper about the um, actions of the legislator, and it, it really solidified my thoughts about what I would do today. And I guess we say in past meetings and this meeting that we're not targeting the homeless. And you know, sometimes I, I, I don't mean disrespect to anyone, but I guess what's going through my head is um, maybe if we say it enough, you know, we'll believe it. But um, I'm not sure how we can say that this is not targeting the homeless because who else is lying down on the sidewalk? <laughs> so, um, but as I said last time, I'm not sure making a, another law is the right thing to do. Um, we have certain laws in place, and I'm not sure any of them have been effective in addressing the situation. Um, I think all we're really doing is moving people around, and you know they go away and they come back. And I, I just don't think another law is the right thing for us to do. Um, so perhaps instead of making more laws. You know, we've let this problem, I shouldn't say problem, we, we've let the homeless situation go for so long 
but it's led to the situation that we're in. And perhaps we need to take responsibility for past inaction. Um, and I guess to summarize, um, you know, although this law may be legal, I'm just not convinced it's moral. I'm not sure it's, it's the right thing for us to do. I think it's pretty clear that uh, we do need to do more work on this matter, be deferring this matter, and uh, 